In this video, we're going to do a few examples involving L'Hopital's Rule. <clears throat> L'Hopital's Rule um, is a really useful technique for solving limits when we have an indeterminate form. If you can put the um, equation that you're taking, or the function that you're taking the limit of, into a form where you get 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, it's an indeterminate form. So, for instance, in this one, if I plug in 1, for x, I get a 0 over 0 case, and I like to denote that above. That's what allows me to use L'Hopital's. Now, L'Hopital's says I take the derivative of the top and the bottom and recalculate my limit. So on top, it's 1 over x. On bottom, it's 2x. And now if I can calculate by direct substitution, I'm done. Plugging 1 in, I get 1 over 1, which is 1. On the bottom, I get 2. And there's our limit. Another example, let's take a look at this guy here. Limit as x goes to 0 of e to the 2x minus 1 all over x. So do we have a L'Hopital's rule? What do you think? And look what happens when we plug in 0. I get 0 on top, 0 on bottom, I have a 0 over 0 case. I can apply L'Hopital's rule, and then I'm going to recalculate the limit as x goes to 0. Derivative of e to the 2x, using chain rule, is e to the 2x times 2, so 2e to the 2x minus 1, which is 0, all over 1. Now I calculate by via substitution, we should be good. e to the 0 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, and we got our limit. How about one that doesn't start in an indeterminate form right off the bat? The limit as x goes to infinity of x squared e to the minus x. This is not a 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. What it is, is an infinity times zero. Infinity times zero, some people call it an indeterminate form. I like to think of that it can be rewritten in an indeterminate form. Because I can rewrite it as limit one or the other. You can actually do either. You can either make it a zero over zero or infinity over infinity. And that just involves rewriting one of the pieces so it's in the denominator. In this case, the easier one to move is the e to the x. Now one thing I'll point out about this, I did not change what I'm taking the limit of. These are two different ways of writing the same thing. But now the way this looks, that should be infinity, this is infinity, e to the positive infinity is infinity, so I now have an infinity over infinity case. I can now apply L'Hopital's rule, and I will recalculate the limit as x goes to infinity. So I have 2x on top over e to the x on bottom, taking the derivative of x squared and derivative of e to the x. If you'll notice, as x goes to infinity, that numerator still goes to infinity. The denominator still goes to infinity. We're going to need another round of L'Hopital's. So we have the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 over e to the x. So now we have something that's, that's top's going to stay 2, and the de denominator is going to go to infinity really quick with that e to the x in there. So that's 2 over something that's going to get really large. Now it's going to drag it down to 0. Do one more example here. So limit as x goes to pi of sine of 2x over x. <laughs> so when we do our direct substitution, we get sine of 2 pi, which is 0. On bottom, we actually get pi. This is not a 0 over 0, not an infinity over infinity. This is actually not an indeterminate form. If you get 0 over a number, your limit is just 0. So always be sure to check that you even need um, L'Hopital's in the first place. 
One last one. Limit. Let's do a one-sided limit. We haven't seen one of those yet. Limit as x goes to zero from the right of x times ln of x. As we go to zero from the right, x goes to zero. ln of x, if you think of its graph, goes down to negative infinity. So this is a zero times infinity case, which tells me that I can rewrite it if I'm careful as a zero over zero or infinity over infinity. So the way I'm going to rewrite this, I'm going to leave the ln of x on top. That's typically what we'll do over 1 over x. Again, notice this is the just an equivalent way of writing this. This still goes to negative infinity. This guy, if you think of the graph of 1 over x, as x goes to 0 from the right, shoots up to positive infinity. That still qualifies as an infinity over infinity case. So I can now apply L'Hopital's. I'm going to recalculate my limit as x goes to 0 from the right. Derivative of ln of x is just 1 over x. Derivative of 1 over x, remember rewrite that as x to the negative 1. It's negative 1 over x squared. So, in a little bit more room here just to finish this guy off. Now I'm going to simplify. Always simplify as much as possible before you run any conclusions about maybe re, uh, rerunning L'Hopital's rule. And I'm going to flip that and multiply, so I end up with a negative x squared over x, which reduces down to very bottom corner here. Limit as x goes to 0 from the right of negative x, which equals 0. And we are done. So there's some examples of employing L'Hopital's rule.